Watch now the attorney for the man charged with kidnapping and killing six year old Isabel Sellis is trying to pin the crime on the little girl's own father. Nine on your side's Craig Smith has been covering this case since Isabel disappeared almost 11 years ago. He's live now at the courthouse. Craig. You know, we're just reflecting on, you know, here we have this community crisis right now. This was a case that that really grasped the community's uh, the community's imagination and and concern and really around the world when it happened 11 years ago. Now the attorney for the now Isabel Sellis father Sergio was the first prosecution witness. One of the first questions for him from the prosecutors was basically did you have anything to do with killing your daughter? He said absolutely not. Now he was asked that from the prosecutors because Clement's defense team is trying to pin the murder on him. Prosecutor Tracy Miller said years after Isabel Sellis disappeared, Christopher Clements contacted the FBI and got unrelated charges dropped in return for leading agents to the young girl's remains. He did not admit any role in her death and did not explain how he knew where her bones would be found. Tucson police detectives say when they examined his cell phone, they found the day after Isabel Sellis disappeared, Clements' phone had been in the remote part of Pima County where he led investigators many years later. They say they also checked his electronic devices and found sexual pictures of young girls, including some taken in Tucson. But Clement's attorney, Eric Kessler, told the jury up front it's his goal to create doubt about Clement's guilt. He suggests Isabel's own father is the culprit. He said Sergio Celis was surprisingly calm the day his daughter disappeared. Kessler says the layout of the house was such that no one could get a 40-pound girl silently out of the house without someone on the inside able to open a gate in a high wall surrounding the home. He said one of Isabel's brothers can testify Isabel wrote on the walls of her home saying, Dad is bad. Kessler also suggested the family was in money trouble, but simply raised that idea and said nothing more. Now, when he had a chance to, to uh, question Sergio Celis, the defense continued to question whether the Celis family had financial problems. Sergio Celis conceded a rent house they owned had been foreclosed after they lost a tenant. All this, again, is a tactic to create doubt about Clement's guilt. That doubt is all that's required to acquit him. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.